Yeah, new video. Welcome, guys. I'm here with my buddy Nico, and I showed you this place in the last two movies. And as you can see, it's going forward, eh? Yes. This, this is going to be Nico's new fruity boo. Today, I filled those with Englor insulation from up there. And I had to go home and take a shower when I was done with this stuff because this is scratching so crazy. This is glass, old recirculate glass with crushed. It's scratching like crazy, guys. Just on putting primer on this floor. Tomorrow I'm gonna make a little bit fall from each side to the slick. Alrighty then, again measure up with all the white spots. So the water gonna run to the slick now. Now I'm gonna yeah, use this to make it like that. If I have done it correctly now, it should be good, but that I cannot find out before tomorrow when it's dry. It's the next day, and as we can see here now, it's dropping everywhere. Again, it's a slick. I just took this knife a little bit here now, and scratched a little bit, a little bit around the edges here. So now I think it's ready to put the membrane or this stuff on top here. Saturday, guys. You and Niklas is having holiday today, so I'm here alone. Now on the top of my workshop, this is where I'm gonna have my office in the future. Is the plan? Not sure if that's a good plan, but to make this work, I have to remove those and I have to find a different solution to keep the stiffness of the roof fair. If you understand, I got a stiff of this one now then, the outside one. Cut it this one out, put a lot of glue on it, and I'm gonna bolt it into that one with huge bolts. So hopefully that will help a lot. This one is not done. Now I'm gonna make a really massive support from this piece down in this one, so this cannot slide out, if you understand what I mean, because you can see here, it's just lying on top. So now I have to make a really solid support down to this one and down to this wall actually this i'm gonna do now i'm gonna need some steel actually this one is not looking too bad eh? this one i can use in the bottom this will for sure be a really good support down there we make holes here now and we're gonna have one bolt down to the concrete there there we go top bracket is also carried now i'm just gonna make a solid piece between here i love this one just drag it down, it starts. All done, up and it stops. There we go. Now I'm gonna weld this together and we're gonna try it. First, now you can see I just put a few points to keep it in touch. And now I'm testing and it's fitting good, so now I'm gonna weld it totally. One is in place. Huh? Looking good? Yeah. You look orange today. Also, the second supporter now is soon ready. Been uh, picking up a new crash car as he's trying to jump in. Look where I am. I'm passing the hard dung a villa. It's beautiful area. Right? Been picking up this steel this morning. This is the steel we're gonna use to weld the window frame up there with. See this stuff when you have to run up. On the way home yesterday with this car, I also stopped and picked up all my tails for the bathroom. This one is now stiffed up with plates and this one and a lot of glue. So this one is now ready, the bottom piece. Top one I'm not going to do anything with. So now I'm actually going to start to weld and cut and make the, the frame here where the glass is going to be mounted. This is a lot of job, but that's a cool job. This is actually something I'm looking forward to do because it's going to be really exciting to see when all the steel, steel pieces and stuff is up. First thing now then is that I'm going to move this one. Totally. The first steel bracket is going up. Second one is in place. Then it's the outside line. Don't cut it. Now then I'm going to weld this together. When that's done, we're going to start to make the... I don't know what it's called. Yeah. So far, it's looking good. 
it's actually unbelievable how good this door is fitting. This is a used door I bought, eh? Like I said many times. Look, eh? <laughs> it's perfect fitting. Unbelievable. It's not Saturday morning. My boys is coming today, you and Niklas. And the plan today is actually take down a little bit of this roof. And we're gonna take down this roof because we're gonna to start to make those standards. We're gonna be outside here, yeah. Then the first playboy has arrived, a little tornerosa as I call him. Been sleeping long today, on? Yeah, sleeping long as always. Yeah, like always, yeah. Hello, Niklas. Hello. Niklas will also wake it up. They go forward on us now, boys. White, Ose dreams and stuff. While the boys is getting up there now, I'm gonna continue well this second steel frame. We are having good progress today. Jon is working hard, Niklas is working hard. I guess I'm also working hard. I'm cutting some steel inside now. Guys, this is how it's gonna be. Also, I'm actually now welding this one on the top there, so the door is going out now. We're done with the door. Then we're gonna make those and same on the other side. And you guys and boys? We're working hard. Going slower now. Always. Going slow, come on boys. On the chance, he's all there. <laughs> Hello, Hasan! <Austin. laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> 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 you let me look at your... Uh, where is the yellow in the middle? Where is it, Stian? Is it you? <laughs> 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 it's my stomach. <laughs> I cut it out the yellow uh, vanilla cream in the middle. It's still good though. <laughs> it's finally Formula One qualification game. First time this year, eh? This is nice. Formula One is now done, and we're gonna push for yeah one hour more before we call it the evening. Like that, almost everyone is on. We have to. Like this one, we have to make a special one here tomorrow, but yeah, like I said, we're gonna do that tomorrow. But now then, Hi. Niklas the playboy, now we're gonna pack down and go home, Niklas. Yes. You and have already left because he had to go to a dinner. So thank you for today. Oh, you're welcome. Yes. Sunday, guys. <clears throat> and it said it should rain later on, so we have to close this hole with something. So Niklasen. Hello. We have not been shooting all those, mounted the last ones, like what we didn't do yesterday. Now we have to remove this stillage a little bit out, you can see, because we're going to have a panel going there, so it's crashing. That's what we're going to do now, move the stillage. Niklas wanted to move his car here now, because we're going to, like I said, move the stillage a little bit out. He was afraid he's going to roll over on his car. <laughs> Rain has arrived. Managed to pack it in just in time. Guys, it's a new week, new day. Now I cut those, as you can see, those is just sitting in those twings. Uh, those are perfectly fitted now, so now I'm actually gonna weld those on. When that's done, we're gonna cut three pieces for this side too and weld those on too. Before we start welding now, I'm gonna check if this is exactly in winkle, it is. I'm gonna check that it's in perfect position of the measurement, it is. Then, is it good to go, to be welded on? I'm not a great welder, but sometimes I manage pretty okay. It's on. Also down there is pretty okay, but there you can see I fucked up. I was shaking. Cutting the last pieces. I ran out of gas, but now we get more of it. I am actually on my last weld. I'm just gonna weld here. And I'm done. There we go. I'm 100% done. We tell from uh, Karloska that my sponsor's place, Zoe Evansen, and my brother made a hole in those now. These are gonna weld together downstairs. Like that. Then I'm gonna bolt it on in the top there. So I'm sure this is not gonna move, you know? This is six millimeter this steel plate, so when you get a lot of bolts here now, it will for sure never move. Now then, since the frame there is totally finished, I'm continuing here on the terrasse. Now I put up this gyps plate underneath there. 
as you can see i'm gonna do the same all the way down there yep is no one now i'm gonna put isolation from here to there because i think it's much more easy to do it now from the top than from down under later on and uh, isolation i should have uh, plenty of here yes i have a small storage here with isolation isolation is put and now my brother gonna help me roll out this duke and here we have the superstar with light Hello. thank you brother Hello. yep it's on been taping this morning taping this duke where it should be taped and i also put on this lift all the way down so the plan today is just continue with this and later on we're going to put USB plate on top here yeah yeah rain was all right but i managed to put usb but i didn't i just did it too yeah you can see i need to put usb from here and out tomorrow and down there so now i'm gonna go and work inside because i have plenty of stuff i can do here too i have a lot of stuff here as you can see from baggage and freeze tails and glue and a lot of stuff i also have paint for this roof I'm gonna paint the first layer of color here now later on. Back after dinner, I decided now I'm gonna sign down the sparkle here. Like that! I'm done sanding all the walls and roof, then I can put the first layer of paint there too. Just on we're putting fuge in all the edges. Now this is gonna dry while I'm painting the third layer of paint on the roof here. Roof is done painted! I'm gonna paint the walls later on when uh, the edge here is completely dry from the roof. And I also paint the roof here, you cannot see it so clearly because it's dark, but the roof here is done. What's going on? Clouds are coming. We don't want that. Hopefully they're going away, not coming. I have now put up some wood pieces. We should uh, look like the like the Gelender I'm gonna make there in stainless steel. I'm not sure how many support supports I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have two of them or three of them or four of them. I think it'd look better if I only have two of them, not four like I do now. So I'm gonna change it to that and we're gonna look again. Cannot see one of them so easy is behind there. So I can only stare. That could look much better. Of course it's gonna be a long span but it will look much more better. So we are going with two of those. I'm going to weld this in stainless steel, 50 millimeter, the top one going to be, 40 the down ones. So this is going to be super solid for sure. It's time to finish this, what I didn't manage yesterday because of the weather. Here we go then. These plates are made. My brother made those holes for me. I'm gonna weld this one on there, and this is gonna be a support for the Gelender or Rekwijk. I have to check what that's in English. I found out what it is. It's a uh, railing. Railing, support for the railing. Hey, what do you think about this, guy, guys? This is perfect, Eller. I don't have to sit and hold it, you know. No, I know it's in 90 degrees. One is ready. There we go. Second one is done. It's now lined up. I think these bolts six of those on each plate will never move it and i'm going to put glue underneath it before also so on the marks i made there there we go i am back after a short run now i'm going to fix a little bit sand down a little bit on these welds where i fucked up it's not everywhere but it's somewhere because my plan is actually to do this today because tomorrow is a really red holiday so I don't want to make too much sound tomorrow but tomorrow then I'm gonna paint it uh, that's the plan put primer on this frame tomorrow there it was a little bit too high so then just go over to five it's getting late and dark so we're throwing in the towel now for today yeah then, it's Friday morning, it's 5.45, time to start to paint these walls. First layer is done, now this is going to dry a few hours, then I'm going to put the second one. Second layer is now on, but I feel I should have a third one. Now I'm going to weld this bird together. 
Then I make a little bit of space between those because then it's going to be much more solid since this is six millimeter thick. Now I'm going to manage to get weld down in the crack there, you know? If I put it completely together, you just get weld on the top, not in down between. I have not nested together, now I go and test it to see that angle is good before I weld it 100. I am really, really, really happy I checked because the angle was not perfect, so I had to cut it up and try again. Just fitting good now, so now I weld it from the back side, now I'm gonna weld it from this side. Then, was that one done? I'm gonna make one more now. And one of those is actually going to power coating. I'm gonna be black. And that's because one of those is gonna be visible when we are done, I think. Now I just used the first one as small to get the angle on the second one. The sun has finally arrived, so now I'm cleaning this frame. And when that's done, I'm gonna start sand it. I'm sanding with 240 paper here now, just to get a little bit scratches. After I was done sanding now, I'm cleaning it for the second time. This time with silicone remover. Now I'm using this screw to go on the edges and also up here in the, the crack where I cannot reach with the machine. When this is done all over the place, I'm gonna put a few fugues on this actually. You see up there inside uh, all these standards, I didn't weld. I'm doing like this with this fuge. I'm using Inotech, Inotech Adesil, same I use on crashed cars when I fix it. So this is for sure working really good against the metal. Then it's all those done, I also put fuge in between the metals up there. Now this is gonna dry while I'm eating. And when I come back then, I'm gonna put the uh, primer. So on. Then I'm in gang. I'm in uh, started painting. Alrighty then. Then was the primer on. Oh la la, looking good. I said earlier this one I was welding this morning is going to power coating. It's not. Because when I was outside here now, I'm thinking about tomorrow's plan. This should be mounted tomorrow. That has been the best. That's why I put epoxy on it now and I'm going to paint it black and we can mount it tomorrow. Standing here now, just looking and scratching my head. I think it's time to end this video. So thanks for watching. I'm just gonna throw in a comment and say, I'm not an expert on what I'm doing now. So I probably do a lot of stuff wrong. So don't arrest me too much eh, if you see something I did not perfect, okay? So if you already didn't, please subscribe to my channel. Keep following the next video will be about this too or actually i have a next video i'm gonna tell you something about my race car uh my race plans or the plans with the car and everything this is coming in the next movie because the plan is ready so stay tuned